What's going on, everybody? Just um, <clears throat> wanted to do just this video on just a recent pickup I just got, and that is the complete series of uh, Howard the Duck from the late 70s. Um, it's all issues 1 through 33, I believe, or 32. I don't know. We'll check it out. Um, but I just want to show you, like, all the covers. Um, I got it for a pretty fair price. I pretty much paid, like, a dollar for each of these. Um, Howard the Duck had, like, three series. This one, which was the original one. And then he had one, like, in 2002, which was, like, a Max series, which was, like, for adults. And then he had a third series, which was, like, a four mini series, four issue mini series. Um, I am getting those as well. Um, I, I haven't really thought about getting the Max series just because... I don't know, he doesn't even, I don't even think he's a duck in those, he's like a rat, which I think is stupid, but, yeah, I got, I got the whole series, and I just want to show you the covers to all of them, so, first one is, uh, this is number one, um, January, uh, has Spider-Man in it, then there's number two. Where he faces a space turnip. Random. Uh, number three, Master of Quack Fu. That's pretty much one of his powers. Is supposedly he's like the master at like fighting, which he calls Quack Fu. And there's this one. When the sleeper wakes. These are. Uh, let me see, Chats in the World, Arena of the Return, uh, The Secret of the Cellar Sinister, From the Oven It Rises, <laughs> The Cookie Creatures, so random, I don't know what this one's about, I haven't even been able to read any of these, I just got these in like right now, When Bites the Beaver, Here's a cool one, actually has Spider-Man in it. Doom in a Dark Dimension. That one's pretty cool. I don't know what this one's about either. Bust to Oblivion. Issue 11. And here's issue 12. Duck's Head Soup. Um, Omen of an Exorcist. I guess... I believe the Exorcist the movie pretty much came out around the same year this one did. Probably, I don't even know. I'm probably wrong about that. Um, a Duck Possessed. Who's this guy? Island of Dr. Bong. <laughs> okay. wonder what that's about. Deadline Doom. Is that like a typewriter? I don't even know. Uh, feathers versus fangs from hell. Issue 17. This duck, this monster, them changes. Issue 18. Here's kind of one that's making fun of a Spider-Man issue. We found no more. I guess he's like a human in this one. I don't know. But this is, this is another cover of like Amazing Spider-Man. I haven't read it, but... I know in the Amazing Spider-Man one, I believe he, like, quits being Spider-Man for a time. Howard the Duck. Let's see. Sud. Huh. I have no idea. This one's pretty funny looking. Sinister Soof. That guy has a funny-ass face. Alright, issue 22. Oh, cool man thing. May the face be with you. Wow, there he is again. Is this He-Man? What is this? I don't even know what's going on. Oh, they're trying to make fun of Star Wars. Gotcha. Okay, I understand now. Duh. Howard the Duck. The night after you saved the universe. <laughs> okay, issue 25. Circus of Crime. Let's see. 26. Sudden Death. Okay, folks, it's happy time. Circus Maximus. <laughs> this is so random. 
cooking with gas. Got some old man punching him. Duck Itis Poster Child 1978. Cool. This one's pretty cool. Iron Duck. Looks like a fire hydrant. Oh, it's that bong guy again. The final bong. <laughs> and these last two, what happened with the series was pretty much um, Howard the Duck ended at 31, so in 1978 or 79, whatever it was, the series ended. And then years later, I don't know what, I know it's somewhere in the 80s, I believe, it doesn't say here, but I think it's like 86. They started it over. They didn't start over, but they started making new issues for it. So then they they did it with like number thirty two. So and then they did it with thirty three as well. So it took it took them a couple years to make these last two issues, and then they just stopped right there. And then this auction also came with um, Howard the Duck Holiday Special from nineteen ninety seven. So. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I really wanted this series just because um, I knew it was a small series. There wasn't that many issues for it. Um, I really like Howard the Duck because I remember the movie. Well, I was really young when the movie came out. And honestly, the movie used to like really freak me out as a kid. Because for some reason, Howard the Duck really looks like a real like human duck. It like freaked me out, dude. Like, movies from the 80s, man, you know, obviously the the computer graphics, you know, obviously wasn't that great. So, obviously, you know, they, they used, like, real life, like, puppets and costumes and mechanical stuff to, like, move, like, the faces of the, of the characters. And, well, Howard really looked real. Like, I'm not, he really looked like a real duck, dude. Like, he was just, like, freaky to me. I don't know. But the movie isn't that great. I'm sure a lot of you older heads probably remember it, and it's really not all that, but I just wanted this series, just, I don't know, because I believe it's, it's like a quirky character, dude, and when I was growing up, I used to love uh, Generation X, and he guest starred in a lot of the Generation X issues, so I really like those issues, so, you know, I wanted to get these, so I'll be reading these pretty much throughout the semester, but anyway, guys, that was it, thanks for watching, peace out.